Welcome! To install Android P on the OnePlus 3, we are first going to unlock the bootloader of the phone to enable modifications to the system. Then we will install a custom recovery image similar to a BIOS to allow full control. Using that recovery image, we flash the actual operating system and finish up by installing the Google apps and services. Before we get started, two words of warning. The first is that the operating system we are installing is still unofficial and not released to the mainstream, so I don't take any responsibility for damage you might cause to the phone. The second is that this process will erase the entire internal storage of your phone, twice in fact. Back up anything you want to keep before attempting this. Start by downloading the four files linked in the description to your PC. Once they are all downloaded, run the ADB and Fastboot installation program. Go through the installer until all the drivers are installed. Once this is finished, there will be a new folder added to the root directory of your boot drive, called ADB. Copy the OS, gapps and recovery image files to this ADB directory and open it. Anywhere on the background, shift and right click for the extended context menu. And click open command window here to open the command line at this path. In some newer versions of Windows 10, this open command window option might be missing. If you encounter this, follow the guide I have linked in the description to get it back, then continue with this video. On your OnePlus 3, open the settings app and scroll to the bottom of the list. Open the About This Phone menu and find the build number. Repeatedly tap the build number until it says you are now a developer. Go back to the main menu and find the new Developer Options tab. Inside here, enable the options Advanced Restart and USB Debugging. Once this is done, hold the power button, tap Reboot and then Reboot to Bootloader. Your phone should enter a screen looking like this. If it does, connect the phone to the PC using the USB cable. In the command line, type fastboot devices. If a result is displayed, your phone has been recognized. Then type fastboot OEM unlock. Your phone should now display a menu asking you if you want to unlock your bootloader. Use the volume keys to select and power button to enter yes. Your phone will reboot and after a while ask you for your SIM pin and after that display the Android setup screen. Skip through the setup and once you arrive at the home screen go back into settings and repeat the same steps from earlier. Enable the developer options using the build number and then enable advanced reboot and USB debugging. After that, reboot into the bootloader once again. On the bootloader screen, it should now say device state unlocked. In the command window, type fastboot devices again to make sure your phone is still recognized. If it is, copy the name of the TVRP image file you move to the ADB folder. Type fastboot flash recovery and then paste the name of the recovery file. Add .img with no spaces at the end like you see on screen and press enter. Your PC will then proceed to flash the new recovery image to your phone. On your device, use the volume keys to select Restart to Recovery and then the power button to confirm. Your phone will now boot into the Team Win Recovery Project or for short TVRP. Once it has loaded, open the file explorer on your PC and navigate to the internal storage of your connected OnePlus 3. Now move the compressed Lineage OS file to a folder in your internal storage. Go back to your phone and tap the install button on the main menu. Open the directory you just placed the Lineage OS file in and tap on it. 
On the installation screen, choose Reboot after completion and then slide to Flash. After the flash has succeeded, your device will boot into Lineage OS. Sometimes a bug appears at this stage, where Android asks for a password to decrypt your internal storage, but you never actually set one. If this occurs, hold your power button until your phone restarts. Upon restart, press the volume down button to enter the booting options menu and go back into TVRP recovery. Once it has loaded, tap on Wipe and then choose Format Data. Don't worry if this throws a few errors, you are fine as long as it says Success after it's complete. Now go back to the main menu and reboot into the system. This time, your phone should take quite a bit longer to reboot and eventually enter LineageOS itself. At this point, we have successfully installed Android P on our OnePlus 3. But the OS itself doesn't come with any Google services, including the Play Store, so let's install those now. Using the boot menu upon restart, go into TVRP Recovery one last time. Open the internal storage of your phone on your PC again, and this time move the gapps compressed file to one of the folders. From the main menu, select Install again and this time choose a gapps file from inside of that folder. Choose Reboot after installation and slide to Flash. After this has completed, your phone will reboot into LineageOS again, and this time with all of the Google services that we are used to on Android. And that's it! If everything worked out, you now have Android Pie on your OnePlus 3. Thanks for watching and have a great day!